base station here at the uh, Thelonia uh, area, the city of Thelonia. So it's the capital station, and it's going to be right here. But before we do any of that, I have a few people I would like to thank for subscribing. And they would be Enoch Choi, Three Pieces of Wheat, Jabble Gaming, Darth Evil 9999, JV, or, uh, JVazQ23, Replier, Epic Troller 100, It, ZUXYTL, TJ Penny, JDOS3509, Super T202020, uh, sorry about that, Super T200211968, AHNG12, Demon Unicorn123, Bill Chan13, and finally, Romero Ramirez. Thank you all for subscribing. And we're going to get to building this train station, or well, railway station.
Hey, all right, the rail station is complete. We'll take a look at the exterior here. And Endermen have been griefing. It's pretty simple. And it's uh, there will be improvements upon it later on once I actually put on a, uh, a rail system to the different uh, sand nation towns. But that's going to be quite some time for now, so I don't need to worry about that for a while. But I did want to build this rail station here because it's fairly close to the edge of the city itself. And actually it's right on the edge. When I build a wall, it's going to be right here and then up to the water. I will have to modify it at some point to uh, get the rails over this walkway. And there'll have to be some uh, booster rails in there too. And this is the interior here. This is the waiting room where people wait to be boarded. And it's pretty simple. And same for here. This is the uh, embarking and de disembarking area. There's, it's really open, it's really clear, because the only thing people should be doing around here is moving through. And uh, there's some chests with uh, minecarts in them. That's pretty much it. There's a little bit of stuff I put on the roof there so it doesn't look so plain. Uh, where the sand is, I, I kind of actually had in mind putting the yellow and green, and I probably will fix that later, but uh, I checked my colored wool chest, and I discovered I did not have enough of those colors. And as far as off-camera work goes, oh, oh, I'm hungry. She'll show you the off-camera work that I've done. There's been quite a bit especially as far as the uh, sewers are regard, uh, concerned. I haven't finished the sewers, but I've done a lot of work on clearing them out. Under every road of the, uh, the city now, there's this top sand layer has been cleared, and I've just been uh, digging out the sandstone and stone layer. Uh, a lot of these under portions are dark, so there's actually a lot of mobs down here. I'll just quickly run through the area that I've dug out. I'm still working on the border area. I uh, actually intended for this video to be one of me working, uh, of be of me building the sewer, but it was taking too long, and I haven't uploaded anything in about two weeks. Not that I've been working on this sewer for two weeks, it's just I've been working on it for off and on for a few days. I think you got the point as far as the sewer is concerned, because these mobs are going to be a little bit of a hassle. But I've gotten all around the outer edge, all the way to about that corner over there. I just need to uh, get some more experience so that I can make some level 30 enchantments on my diamond pickaxes get some good unbreaking and efficiency enchantments makes it go a lot faster and the other off-camera work I've done regards uh, clearing out this mountain over here for the capital building I'm not done clearing it out ouch but I'm getting there I've already began uh, I've begun working on a design for the Capitol building. At the end of the video, I, I might show that. I've also done some uh, off-camera work regarding sheep. I've uh, taken the time to sort of just sit AFK and get some more grass growing. In this area over here. Get some more sheep pens going. Or just one, that is. Got some now. I've got some lime green and black sheep. And the reason why I actually 
built this addition, additional pin is to uh, get lime green wool. And I'll show you why. To do that, I'll have to uh, go to LAN so that I can get uh, creative mode on. How is it? So I can fly over to uh, the Lego God monument real quick. I did make an error when building the uh, Lego God monument. And that error being I uh, the torso is supposed to be red and the arms are supposed to be green. I got that mixed up. But I fixed it. And I used lime green wool this time for the arms. Because I figured while while I was fixing it, I might as well do it with the right color. At least the color that is closest to uh, Lego God skin. But I'm pretty sure lime, lime green is real close. I'm sort of, kind of, I'm really close. It's not far this way. And I don't think cutting the video here would would merit for the 15 seconds, additional seconds that it's going to take. It's right over here, and you'll see it in just a second. All right. Uh... Should be right over here. Oh, I went past it, I bet. Yeah, here it is. Quite a bit different, as you can see. The red is now lime green, and the green torso is now red. But that is the corrected Lego God skin monument. And I will end the video here. Thank you for watching. See you guys later. Although, uh, the final, uh, the next video is going to be the hundredth video, and it might take some time to get that made because the monument, the the Capitol building for uh, Thelonia is fairly large. It's going to be circular, almost maybe dome. Maybe there'll be a dome. I haven't. Uh, I have to learn how to make domes before I do that. And it's going to take some time. Uh, I don't think it'll take two weeks like the in between this video and the last video but uh it could take a while thank you for watching see you later